the upcoming Southern African Development Community SADC Summit, set to be held in Harare this August, has ignited a flicker of hope for the beleaguered opposition Citizens Coalition for Change CCC as they seek regional intervention in the ongoing political crisis triggered by the disputed 2023 presidential election. The CCC, formerly led by Nelson Chamisa, has consistently maintained that President Emerson Umingagwa's narrow victory in the August 2023 polls was marred by widespread irregularities and manipulation. Their calls for a fresh election, however, have fallen on deaf ears, leaving the country teetering on the edge of a deeper political quagmire. It is common cause that the August 2023 harmonized elections were fraudulently flawed and did not produce a legitimate and outright winner declared CCC spokesperson, Promise Mkwananzi, in a statement released over the weekend. This is acknowledged by all election observer missions, including SADC. Mkwananzi's statement, a clear indictment of the ruling ZANU-PF party, paints a stark picture of a political landscape where legitimacy is in question. The CCC contends that the current government is illegitimate. A de facto government, in their words, and that SAC's intervention is crucial to restoring order and stability. The issue of the disputed elections ought to be foremost on the SADC agenda with a view to facilitate dialogue and ultimately a political settlement between the two contending presidential candidates, namely advocate Nelson Chamisa and Emerson Numingabwa. Kwanazi stressed, there is no other alternative to this dialogue. The CCC's plea for SADC intervention is underscored by their concerns over the alleged weaponization of state institutions against opposition members. Kwanazi claims that the judiciary has been captured by the ruling party, and that the imposter, Senjizo Chibangu, leader of the opposition in parliament, is implementing unlawful recall of CCC parliamentary and local government representatives elected in the disputed polls. This has delegitimized the current parliament, Kwananzi asserted. We insist on the reinstatement of our lawfully elected officials and the removal of the impostors imposed by Mr. Shibangu and others in connivance with ZANU-PF. Shibangu, however, dismissed the CCC's call for SADC intervention, asserting that the regional body's mandate does not extend to reviewing domestic court decisions. The upcoming SADC summit's agenda is as set out by SADC itself and not to act as a superior court to review the decisions of domestic courts, Chibangu told New Zimbabwe. One would expect serious politicians to know that. I cannot comment further on the actions of another political party. My focus is on enhancing the effectiveness of our MPs in parliament as the leader of the opposition in parliament. The CCC's plea for SADC intervention comes at a time when Zimbabwe is grappling with a multitude of challenges, including a deepening economic crisis, widespread poverty, and a growing sense of disillusionment among the populace. The disputed election results have only exacerbated these problems, leading to a climate of political uncertainty and instability. The upcoming SADC summit presents a significant opportunity for regional leaders to address the Zimbabwean crisis and find a path towards a peaceful and sustainable solution. However, the outcome remains uncertain, with both the ruling party and the opposition holding firm to their respective positions.